Hello everyone, this is Kill Me Horde. Welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition. Let's go save Solus's fucking bitch ass, but I have no potions, so Up there. This might be a hard fight. It's going to everyone back. No! The anchor now builds up power even faster. Using it is difficult, but discharges all accumulated focus. If the focus reaches full power, it discharges uncontrollably, damaging you and your allies as well as nearby enemies. Fuck! Really? Perhaps Solus can help. Solus doesn't want to hurt people. He isn't that kind of wolf. The Canari don't see. Well, I'm gonna keep my mouse right here on this. Because I have to discharge this often. That must be where Solus is. Oh, damn. He didn't even fucking hit me and I took a lot of damage. What the fuck? Fucking bullshit. There. He can't be far from her or it hurts him. Boom! You fucking dumbass fucking idiots! Why is there so many fucking assassins here? Fucking get me out of here. You're gonna die. Am I not supposed to crawl up here and go through this alluvian? Oh no, I am. Boom! I am a walking bomb right now. That's why I'm watching this fucking shit very closely. I'll come over here and I'll just bomb them. Hey, bye guys. Fucking hate fighting Canary. These bitches are always fucking annoying. Hey, would you like to explode? I guess I'd like to fall off a cliff. I guess Solus might be the Dread Wolf, but he obviously does not want to hurt us. Seer. Fucking dumb bitch. 
Uh, let's supply cash. Now I gotta blow up. Hey, I hate that. I don't like this time limit thing. It's not that it's a time limit, but more of like, I gotta use this every three minutes. He's coming to stop us. A time bubble? You aren't supposed to be able to use that. Hey, let's blow up. Am I... Hold on. Hold on. Okay, I can't check my inventory while I'm under attack. I bet my armor fucking got... Unequipped again. I need to dispel. Where'd he go? Thank you. It seems the Cerebas is no longer following orders. Oh, God. I about got bad enough to kill my people, hurt my people. Blow up. Boom. Why is my vision like this? I'm living off of borrowed time right now. Jesus Christ, don't Wait, jump in my face.
Okay. I went through the Alluvion. Where am I now? Time to finish this. You are dead, Inquisitor. Your soul is dust. My soul is dust. Really, I gotta fight Sarath again. This guy's almost a more imposing boss than <laughs> Corypheus was. Hey, let's blow up. Can you even be affected by walking bomb? Whoa, no, 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 you can't do this shit. Hell no, you can't be doing that shit. You're telling me, you're telling me this random ass Kunari is able to open up fade rips. No. Random ass Canari Cerebus, I guess. Want to explode? Because this is how you're going to fucking explode. Can't fight you. Get rid of your dumbass. Let's explode, buddy. Oh, you're gonna summon that bitch, are you? Ain't about this shit, broski. Well, I blew him the fuck up. He deserved it. He deserved it. <gasps> they got petrified. And I'm alone. Ebesit kata, etwa ost. Marat kata! Your forces have failed. Leave now and tell the Canari to trouble me no further.
Solas. That should give us more time. I suspect you have questions. How were you able to control the anchor? In the same way as when I stopped it from killing you at Haven. Although I am stronger now, the mark you bear was bestowed upon you by the orb of Fenharel. My orb. Your Fenharel? I was soulless first. Fen Harel came later. An insult I took as a badge of pride. The Dread Wolf inspired hope in my friends and fear in my enemies. Not unlike Inquisitor, I suppose. And now you know. What is the old Danish curse? May the Dread Wolf take you? So he did. I did not. I would not lay with you under false pretenses. But you lied to me. I loved you. Did you really think I wouldn't have understood? Dear Abelas, Fernan. Tell Abelas. If you care, give me the truth. I sought to set my people free from slavery to would be gods. I broke the chains of all who wished to join me. The false gods called me Fenharel, and when they finally went too far, I formed the veil and banished them forever. Thus I freed the elven people, and in so doing, destroyed their world. Uh, how did creating the veil destroy the world? You saw the remains of Via Dathara. The library was intrinsically tied to the Fade, and the Veil destroyed it. There were countless other marvels, all dependent on the presence of the Fade, all destroyed. Your legends are half right. We were immortal. It was not the arrival of humans that caused us to begin aging. It was me. The Veil took everything from the Elves, even themselves. You love the Fade. Why would you create the Veil to hide it all away? Because every alternative was worse. Meaning? Had I not created the Veil, the Evanurus would have destroyed the entire world. You banished the False Gods. You didn't kill them. You met Methol, did you not? The first of my people do not die so easily. The Evanurus are banished forever. Paying the ultimate price for their misdeeds. You said that the elven gods went too far. I'm getting lower. What did they do I that made know. you move against them? They killed Mythol. <laughs> A crime for which an eternity of torment is the only fitting punishment. I thought Mythal was one of the Evanurus. She was the best of them. She cared for her people. She protected them. She was a voice of reason. And in their lust for power, they killed her. The Evanurus were elven mages. How did they come to be remembered as gods? Slowly. It started with a war. War breeds fear. Fear breeds a desire for simplicity. Good and evil, right and wrong, chains of command. After the war ended, generals became respected elders, then kings, and finally gods. The Evanurus. That's the past. What about the future? I lay in dark and dreaming sleep while countless wars and ages passed. I woke still weak a year before I joined you. My people fell for what I did to strike the Evanurus down. But still, some hope remains for restoration. I will save the Elven people, even if it means this world must die. Huh?
why does this world have to die for the elves to return? A good question, but not one I will answer. You have always shown a thoughtfulness I respected. It would be too easy to tell you too much. I am not Corypheus. I take no joy in this. But the return of my people means the end of yours. It is my fight. You should be more concerned about the Inquisition. Your Inquisition. Oh hell no, you ain't breath, you ain't stopping that. Invasion by Canary forces. Ah, you ain't destroying my world. Good luck. They Egg. will return their focus to Devinter. That should give you a few years of relative peace. What's wrong with the Inquisition? You created a powerful organization. And now it suffers the inevitable fate of such. Betrayal and corruption. It's not that simple. Do you know how I discovered the Canari plot? The plot I disrupted by leading them to your doorstep. The Canari spies in the Inquisition tripped over my spies in the Inquisition. The Elven Guard who led you to the Canari body? Who intercepted the servant with the Gatlock barrel? Mine. I guess we owe you for that one too. I hope it gives your people some final peace. You control the Illuvians now? Yes. You remember Briala from Halam Shural? Mm -hmm. At the time, she controlled part of the labyrinth. One of my agents was supposed to take it from her, but he did not succeed. I had to override the magic personally. The Canari stumbled upon this section independently. With them gone, the Illuvians are now mine. The Kunari said the Inquisition was unknowingly working for agents of Fenharel. I gave no orders. You led us to Skyhold. Corypheus should have died unlocking my orb. When he survived, my plans were thrown into chaos. When you survived, I saw the Inquisition as the best hope this world had of stopping him. And you needed a home. Hence, Skyhold. You gave your orb to Corypheus? Not directly. My agents allowed the Venatori to locate it. The orb had built up magical energy while I lay unconscious for millennia. I was not powerful enough to open it. The plan was for Corypheus to unlock it, and for the resulting explosion to kill him. Then I would claim the orb. I did not foresee a Devinter Magister having learned the secret of effective immortality. What would have happened if Corypheus had died, and you'd recovered the orb? I would have entered the Fade using the mark you now bear. Then I would have torn down the veil. As this world burned in the raw chaos, I would have restored the world of my time. The world of the Elves. If you destroyed the veil, wouldn't the False Gods be freed? I had plans. Truly... Truly, your plans don't sound I like any of your plans you fucking worked. Thank you. You must understand. I awoke in a world where the veil had blocked most people's conscious connection to the Fade. It was like walking through a world of tranquil. We aren't even people to you. Not at first. You showed me that I was wrong. Again. That does not make what must come next any easier. Whatever your reasons, we couldn't have defeated Corypheus without you. Your doubts are misplaced. Everything you accomplished, you earned. There's still the matter of the anchor. It's getting worse. I know, Venan. And we are running out of time. <laughs> the mark will eventually kill you. Drawing you here gave me the chance to save you. At least for now. Solas, Barlat Vir Suladin. I wish it could, Venan. She said it doesn't have to be this way. Kiss the egg. Kiss the egg. 
Yeah! I will never forget you. The egg got smooched. Hell yeah. That's what I've been waiting for. I've done 70 hours of this game just for the get the fucking egg to smooch me. 70 hours. And it happened. Finally. I'm satisfied. Yeah, so I get to go back to the Exalted Council and they have to take my word that Solus wants to kill done, everybody. But we cannot lose the Inquisition now. We stand on the brink of war with the Canari. Yes. No. Let's provoke them in the first place. The Inquisition did not cause this threat. We informed the summit of the danger. The danger posed by Canari spies inside your organization. Without our organization, I doubt you would be alive to complain. <sighs> No one has forgotten what you have done, but Corypheus is two years dead. If the Inquisition is to continue, it must do so as a legitimate organization, not a glorified mercenary band. Inquisitor. Oh. Serving? Okay, okay. We serve the divine. But the efforts against him, efforts against him will be stronger, but we will risk corruption. Or we will disband and we will be weaker, but more secure. And I won't, I won't be able to see the consequences of my actions here until Dreadwolf comes out. Because this is a major decision. You all know what this is? A writ from Divine Justinia authorizing the formation of the Inquisition. We pledge to close the breach, find those responsible, and restore order, with or without anyone's approval. It wasn't a formally authorized treaty that saved Ferelden's people. It wasn't careful diplomacy that ended your inane civil war. It was never about the organization. It was about people doing what was necessary. Now. Oh, they cut the hand off. I have a world to save. Again. Effective immediately. I no longer have the mark. Disbanded. I don't have the mark anymore. We need to be fully secure because the Dread Wolf had spies in our own organization from the start. So we need to secure ourselves to be able to stop him. That's the only rationalization I can give you guys about that. Short order, the Inquisition was disbanded. Some were relieved to see the unpredictable organization dismantled.
Others preferred to remember the Inquisition's good works and the many lives it had saved. Uh. Those who had served returned to their former lives knowing they had stopped a great evil from destroying the world. And hoping that the peace for which they had fought remained once the Inquisition was gone. With the dragon's breath disrupted and any hope of a swift victory dashed, the Kunari retreated back to the north. Few knew what debates were waged in Parvalin, but not long after the Exalted Council, the Kunari launched new attacks against Taventer. Their aggression caught the already unstable Imperium off guard. Taventer was soon mired in a war many feared could spread across Thetis. The Exalted Council remained intact, advising Divine Victoria on important matters. Cassandra served for several years. However, she eventually became disgusted by Vivian, who she felt was perverting the chance of Light's intent, and left the council. Cassandra also spent time in the Hunterhorn Mountains north of Orlais, where she worked to rebuild the Seekers. For a time, the new Seekers remained reclusive, showing no interest in worldly affairs, and working to a purpose few outside their order could guess. As the Inquisition forces returned to civilian life, its mages pushed for independence from the Circle. Divine Victoria, secure on her sunburst throne and with a rebuilt Chantry Circle at her disposal, chose to be magnanimous. She grudgingly allowed them to remain as the College of Enchanters, as a mark of her regard for the Inquisition. For the next few years, the College and the Circle coexist peacefully, if barely. Liliana continued to act as the Inquisition's spymaster in its final months as an independent organization. <sighs> During this time, she shared many of her responsibilities with her most trusted agents, including Charter, Rector, and Harding. Many believed that Liliana feared what lay on the horizon and was grooming successors in anticipation of the challenges ahead. Sarah left the Inquisition with scarcely more ties than when she began, disappearing back into her confusing weave of favors and friends. After seeing the world brought to the brink by arrogance and pride, it was a blessing to return to normal, however strange a normal it might be. With frequent visits to her whittle, of course. Varric took up the role of Viscount and, with the help of his friend Hawk, rebuilt Kirkwall's damaged infrastructure. Under his rule, the city-state finally resumed its place as the major trade hub of the Free Marches.
He continued to ignore all mail from both the Merchant's Guild and the Prince of Starkhaven. With the Inquisition disbanded, the Bull's Chargers returned to taking jobs throughout Orlais and Ferelden. Fighting demons and clearing out the remains of Venatory forces, the Iron Bull did his part to restore order to Thetis. After the Inquisition disbanded, Colin retired from active service. He returned to Ferelden, establishing a sanctuary for former Templars on land Divide Victoria granted to him. With his help, many Templars shed their lyrium addiction, and those whose mind were too far gone spent their last days in comfort. And he promised that should his friends from the Old Inquisition ever need him, his blade would be ready. Dorian returned to Deventer to take his father's place in the Magisterium. As rumors flew about the Imperium's infighting, Dorian was spoken of often as a voice of resistance against corruption. Good on him. Good on him. Along with the Magister Maverus Tilani, he formed a group called the Lucerni to restore and redeem Tevinter, a fight many thought hopeless. Those fighting by Magister Pavis's side noted that he kept in constant communication with the Inquisitor via message crystal. Whether for vital information or for moral support, these talks seemed to give Dorian the strength to continue his fight. After the Exalted Council, Tom Rainier bid farewell to his friends and went to Weishaupt Fortress to pledge himself to the Grey Wardens for good. While he was rarely seen in the years that followed, some say they encountered Rainier in far-flung lands, their accounts always similar. Rainier carried out the duty of the Wardens, but always found time to help others along the way. Sometimes he served as a shield for the defenseless, other times he spread simple cheer among children with gifts of small, carved toys. With the Inquisition disbanded, Josephine made her farewells and returned to Antiva and her family. Thanks to the Inquisitor's help, the Montilliers were once again permitted to trade in Orlais. The next few years were a busy time, as many ships with the Montillier crests were built and set sail again from Antiva's harbors. <laughs> Soon, Ravani pirate captains with an ancient feud against Josephine's ancestors took to the seas, determined to rekindle the rivalry. Apart from Josephine's sister, Yvette, nearly eloping with a dashing pirate prince on one occasion, Lady Montillier took the development in stride. Cole returned to the Fade, saying that there was more pain coming, and that he knew where compassion would be most needed.
He promised that his friends in the Inquisition would remember him, and that where the hurt was greatest, he would help. After the events at the Winter Palace, elves left the Inquisition under mysterious circumstances, as did elven service, as did elven servants across Thetis. Hmm. None can say where they went, but those who believe the Inquisitor's story about Fen Harel wonder just how large the Dreadwolf's forces were. And what the ancient elven rebel had planned. Lavellan sometimes came awake from dreams in which her lover watched her sadly from across an endless distance. Be the Inquisitor. If they were more than simple dreams, she could not say, for every time she reached for him, he vanished into nothing. Still, she searched and dreamed and waited for a way to change the Dreadwolf's heart. No shot that that's where I'm going to be next game. My the Imperium. Found nothing. With the illusions, he could be anywhere. With the Inquisition officially disbanded, we have no army, no formal alliances. We have what we truly need. <sighs> we will need to be careful. Solus knows everything about us. Who we are, how we work, our strengths and weaknesses. Then we find people he doesn't know. We will save our friend from himself. If we can. Interventor. Interventor. God damn it. Insanity. gonna have and that's it the game is over i will have one more episode come out after this it'll be um if you know about the dragon age keep tapestry there's a link right here but um the dragon age keep tapestry chronicles the story of the three games that are out your major choices that you chose through it and uh, I can play it as a cutscene type of setup. So there will be one more episode of Dragon Age before Dreadwolf comes out, and it will be the tapestry. But I will see you all in the next game. I will post the results of the poll after uh, the poll that I was doing after this episode goes up. We'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.